<laughs> All right, it's been a it's been a rough week here. Uh, I think the last time I I did one, I had just finished the clock, the HDPE clock, um, and I'm still messing around with the HDPE. I've got um, <clears throat> I've got another blank that I've made up, uh, and the shot glass is actually back in here. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. I'm not sure I'm ready to do another video on that yet, but um, sometime in the future I will definitely be having another look at that because it's fun material to work with. And then let's see, oh then the Star Wars, the Death Star ornament, which um, I really liked. I thought it was awesome. I, I've never hollowed anything on the lathe before, so that was the first uh, to make a, a hollow sphere. Um, I think a lot of people were thrown off by the paint, so I get it, you know, you're woodworkers, you want to see things stained, but um, it's a Death Star, so it's supposed to be gray. I really like the way it lights up, so it's on the tree, I just took this off the tree. It's right next to my um, Enterprise D, because I'm a geek. Oh, and the TARDIS, it's on the top. <laughs> the doctor stays on the top of the tree. But I was, I was crazy sick this week, I had the flu. Uh, I knew it was the flu. I knew it was the flu. You know, you know. You're like, this is the flu. I've had this before. But there's that part of you that's just like, I've got to find out if I'm not dying. So I looked up my symptoms on the internet, and uh, it turns out I was totally dying. Everybody on the internet said I was dying. Uh, I think I had uh, appendicitis um, and uh, colon cancer and some sort of horrible bacterial disease. So, I knew it was the flu. I knew it was the flu. But I scheduled the doctor's appointments anyway, and I went in and I said to her, I know that I've got the flu. I just need you to tell me that's what I've got. And she looked at me and she goes, actually you have all the symptoms for a gallbladder problem. So I had to do lab tests, and I had to do, you know, all this other stuff. And uh, it's the flu. I have the flu, and it's almost, I'm hoping it's at an end. So, and apparently I'm not the only sick woodworker this week, so <laughs> hope you're feeling better, David. I know I am. I hope you got to your manly mark. Um, David, David Picciuto, the drunken woodworker, I've been listening to him and Bob Claggett and Jimmy DeResta's uh, podcast. I never listen to podcasts. I've got a man crush on Jimmy DeResta, so I had to listen to it. Uh, and I've been really enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to the fourth one. I, I like to, um, you know, kind of get the behind the scenes on that. So I'd check it out. You might be surprised. You might get hooked just like I am. So it's a good show. Oh, I think Sterling Davis is putting on a palette challenge, which is cool. Everybody's got a challenge, and uh, Sterling sounds pretty neat. Uh, you make something from a palette and post it a video, but there's no judging. It's all randomized. So it's basically like uh, the Reader's Digest. It's like the Reader's Digest. All you have to do to win is enter. You don't have to buy anything. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't really do pallets. I don't like working with pallets. But, um, but all my projects are little projects, so if I even score a small amount of pallet wood, I guess you have to show yourself breaking it up, so I'd have to do that. But, um, but I might, I might, I don't know. I've got a lot of weird stuff on my plate already. Um, you know me, always something bizarre. <laughs> Here, here's another one, I'll give you a hint. You know what this is. You know what this is. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh yeah, and um, made whipped cream in the shop. Woo! What was I thinking? Making whipped cream in the shop. <laughs> that um, that was funny. I liked it. Well, here's the whisk. Here's what's left of it. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's toast. My uh, my father-in-law is funny. My father-in-law, my brother-in-law were the ones that were in the video with me. Um, my father-in-law, you know, knew exactly what was going to happen. He, he predicted the whole thing, and then he stood over in the corner and waited. <laughs> but, uh, but we did it anyway, because we're stupid, and it was fun. Um, and, uh, you know, everything's fine. Nobody got hurt. Nothing, nothing bad happened. The, there's your only casualty, and uh, <laughs> nobody cares. My wife didn't even care. So, you know, it's not a big deal. And shop's all cleaned up. There's no whipped cream anywhere. It was just didn't break the glass and shattered on my fingers. So I just having a little fun, but um, <laughs> quite a lot of people um, disliked that. It's my new, my new uh, most disliked video. 
So I said I wasn't going to post any more crazy videos on my main channel, and then I went and did it anyway. So that's a lesson to me. I should have posted it here on this one. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching.